Let's talk about the food pyramid, a balanced way of eating food so it nourishes your body and your mind. We have our bones, muscles, ligaments. Beyond that, we have organs like a heart, our lungs, liver. We also have our lymphatic system, which cleanses all the fight that is going on between our immune system and the outside invaders. We also have our blood that circulates through our body, bringing oxygen and nourishing our cells. And beyond that, we also have our brain, which is neither a bone nor a muscle. And all these elements have to be nourished. And it's becoming more and more important to nourish not just the body as we think, muscles and bones and ligaments, uh, but the circulatory system, the cleansing system of the lymphatic system, and most importantly, the brain. So the food should nourish all these elements. So we have over here a description of the food pyramid, and you can see these five elements in the food pyramid which are part of the well-known and widely circulated uh, pyramid. And they have five elements. And these five elements are important to nourish the muscles, the bones, the heart. But they're not enough. And one needs to expand these elements beyond these five. So let's take a look at these five elements. So if you look over here, uh, you have these seven colors of the rainbow. And five of them metaphorically are represented in this traditional standard food pyramid. But there are additional elements to look at. So what is represented here? So we can see over here there is uh, some uh, chicken here, which is a protein, uh, some lentils that are full of protein. Then we have here some vegetables, some greens, uh, a roti or a, it's a bread, carbohydrates. And we also have some dairy products represented by this glass of milk. We have some oils, and this is olive oil, but you can have other kind of oils, vegetable oils, which are also important part of the food pyramid. Then you have some fruits, a banana, apricot, and so on. Uh, so that's essentially what these five elements represent here. So if you look at this, you see grains, right? So this is uh, roti is grain. Uh, vegetables, you see these vegetables, fruits milk or dairy products in general, so milk, yogurt, butter, and so on, uh, as well as including other fats uh, which are coming from other elements like for cooking oil and so on. And then the basic meat and beans. So here is uh, some chicken, here are some lentils, and uh, that forms these five elements. But one has to also look at uh, what do these things do for my blood? Is my blood cleansed? Is my lymphatic system supported by these elements? And some of it is supporting it. But in addition, one needs to add additional products, and especially uh, products that are especially important, which are spices. So let's look at these additional elements. So this is the next level of the pyramid. So instead of five, let's add the sixth one, which is garlic, onions, and ginger. And this is very essential. And more and more research is showing the importance of ginger for the blood cleansing, for reducing inflammation of the blood vessels, for improving joints, so helping with inflammation, as well as cleansing the blood. The next level of the pyramid, which is becoming more and more, coming more and more into the news, is the element of spices. So here's a spice box. And uh, here are some of the most important elements, particularly when one thinks about how human beings are now living to up to 90, 100 years old, and what happens to the brain health. So this turmeric, which is one of these almost miraculous products, although it's been used uh, in Asian, especially Indian cooking, for thousands of years, so this turmeric, it's a very important part, not only for the blood, for healing injuries, but especially for the brain. Uh, and more and more research is showing how it can help with the brain health in removing uh, some of the fatty tissues, fatty cells that attach to the brain and kill, essentially, uh, the nerves, the neuron firing and this uh, hardwired part of the brain. So a very important part uh, for the brain. Then you have black pepper. Uh, you have additional. This is a very important spice used in Indian cooking. It's called garam masala. It's a mixture of five different spices.
so garam masala or hot spice, uh, then some cumin, some other things. And so including spices, this is salt, of course use very little, but what the spices do in addition to the direct help in with our blood, our brain and so on, is they add flavors to the food. So food that may be very bland and often one thinks of uh, vegetables, dishes made out of vegetables as bland. So if you're not used to adding spices to your food, one looks at vegetarian food as a sacrifice, as if you're giving up a lot of taste, you're giving up the savoring part of the food and you're just eating it for your, because your doctor has said you should eat vegetables and fruits. However, by adding spices to the vegetables as well as meats, it adds an additional dimension which is a very flavorful dimension. So spices also open your taste buds. So the food that you're enjoying is you're savoring it. You're not just eating, you're savoring the food and so spices are very important for that as well. So having these seven legs of the pyramid instead of just five, so including these two additional legs uh, which means adding cleansers. So these are basically cleansers. Uh, they are very small but they add that element of cleansing uh, your digestive system, cleansing your blood, cleansing your lymphatic system. Very important for that part. Uh, so garlic, onions and especially red onions and then ginger and then on top of that adding a series of spices which add additional flavor to the food but also makes the food more nourishing for your entire being, not just the body, not just the muscles, but also for your mind, your brain, uh, as well as of course your taste buds. So foods that normally may not taste very good and often one thinks the only tasty food is a steak. Right? And maybe for some people steak is very delicious, but a well-prepared combination of carrots and peas or spinach can be even more delicious than a steak if you know how to use spices and add them to your food.